Dear Franco, in 2012 I had the opportunity to go to ICCF 17 in Dijon in South Korea. I was looking forward to meeting many of the luminaries that have worked in the field of new fire since its inception, none more so than you and Martin Fleischmann. Sadly, Martin passed away three weeks before the event, and I was still looking forward to seeing what you had to say. I learned a lot from a lot of the other speakers, and I knew there was really something to pursue. Unfortunately, when it came to your speech, speeches, a delegate came on stage and said that unfortunately you decided three days before uh, the conference not to come because you felt uncomfortable with sharing your insights uh, into the wider community. Still, I learned a lot whilst I was at the conference and I was very fortunate enough to join some other delegates there uh, in forming the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. For two and a half years, the members of the MFMP sought your company. It was only after the Lagarde report that we finally got a call or contact from you, and we were very, very excited. We moved heaven and earth to come and see you, and you didn't disappoint. You dedicated yourself to us for a period of time, and you taught us what you knew and your insights that you were allowed to share, and we are deeply indebted to you for doing so. At the time, we did not know whether this was the way it was, and there still may be gaps uh, in the knowledge. Certainly, we weren't well equipped to understand everything you were telling us at the time. Following the Glowstick 5.2 experiment, we saw something that you told us we might see, or something similar. It is now quite clear to us that you had very, very good understanding of the process. I know you are conflicted about whether man should have this technology, but the planet is bleeding, and people need this thing now. Given that there appear to be now two practical versions of this technology about to be put into production, that of Randall Mills and Andrea Rossi. It is now important that the wider world gets an understanding of how to achieve this effect. It seems clear to me, at least, that the reason you gave us an opportunity to come and see you was that it dawned on you the significance that Andrea Rossi had done when he added lithium hydride, or an ionic uh, solution, uh, to the nickel. This overcame some of the complexities uh, to create uh, uh, protide in your system and had the side effect of also providing a secondary material uh, uh, able to uh, absorb the ejected protons and produce high levels of energy. I hope as we roll out the rest of this information you can understand that it's important to us at least that the record be set straight and that people can explore this field with a better understanding of the process. The universe channeled a very special gift through you that August 16th, 1989. That Rossi paid attention to your work and extended it is something that is important also. Thank you for giving us this gift. Sylvia, your father is a great man.